So how come uh, some rules are okay to break? Like I got footage of you jaywalking. <laughs> some laws are okay to break, but other rules are not okay. <laughs> I would say there's no victim to jaywalking, so it shouldn't be a crime. Just like there's no victim to parking, because look, there's an empty spot. Is that is that your property, ma'am? That's a gift for the, the vehicle's owner. That's not your property. What'd you do if I took one of your tickets and ripped it up? Are you having to put the cable? I already told you the other day. Once you let go of it, it's not yours. You it's give a it gift away. to the vehicle owner. And it's never, so you you believe in theft then? <laughs> So, would it be theft if we attach a nickel to each card? And then it's money. <laughs> and the idea is you could use the nickel to save someone else, you know what I mean? <laughs> Because then you're taking something that has financial value. Take the nickel off the vehicle off. <laughs> so you'd leave the nickel. You'd remove it from the card and leave the nickel. <laughs> what about a sealed envelope with a check made out to the vehicle owner? <laughs> I wouldn't touch anything that's on the vehicle that could potentially be belong to them. You're talking about leave, them leaving a nickel on the on the car. I'm talking about one of us leaving them a gift, a card. It's basically a gift, in my opinion. Taping the nickel to it. <laughs> Every time you put, you tape the nickel. To what it. about a penny? <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Will you grab that for me? <laughs> oh, so close! It's money and I'm not gonna steal it. Well, the thing is, like, why does the money have to be something you see as having value? Why does it have to be a card in the money Well, maybe you guys got complaints of us stealing the tickets, but we would never do that, so. I know you would. I never got any complaints of us Okay. I don't know, one day Alan accused us of stealing tickets. He didn't really accuse us, he said, you guys aren't taking the tickets, right? And I said, no. <laughs> like, he, you know what I mean? It was like a tone. I figured that'd do more harm than good because the ticket will go up. They don't receive that's, it. That's actually a felony because then they're stealing So, how well, is I it guess, the... I guess that would be, I'm not <laughs> sure. I can't say that it, it's a felony. I'm saying I'm, I would think it would be. Oh, I know. I scratched my little camera. <laughs> well, don't you think there's no difference between our piece of paper on the car and your piece of paper? So it's theft either way, you know what I mean? See, the difference is when it leaves my hand and goes on to the car, it belongs to the car owner. Uh -huh. When it leaves your hand and it goes on to the car, yeah. it, it then becomes, the the car. It becomes something that you gave away and becomes the property of anybody. So if I left my bicycle on the sidewalk 
It's is it still mine? Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You're only thinking in that sense because of the difference in value between okay. the car and the bike. Thank you, though. Here are those flyers where someone left their phone number like 10 times on the bottom. And All right, well, what about one of those flyers where there's... No, 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 no. There are those flyers where someone will have their phone number like 10 times on the bottom and cut the little slits. And, like, you can take the phone number. You could say you gave out all those phone numbers so someone could come along and just cut them all down and say, oh, well, they were all given away. But that's taking something with the intention of not allowing the person they were intended for to receive them. So... I don't know, I try not to interfere with other people's communications. Yeah. Well, I guess for the record, uh, you don't have my permission to take the cards. <laughs> I suck at that. <laughs> it's my property and then I'm gifting it to the vehicle owner. <laughs>